Hey again! Welcome to another Ragining. This time we're going to be discussing botanical sexism. Why though? Because, you know, we, we, we went through appropriating civil rights for feminism. We went through appropriating the LGBT community for feminism. And now we're going through appropriating the plight of the female trees for feminism. <laughs> Do trees identify as female? Do trees even identify other than in a chemical sort of cellular level? Moreover, what is a woman tree? If, if we can't say what sex a child is and, until they can identify themselves, then what are we doing with the trees? I see. We're doing lysenkoism again. We've got we've sort of gone full circle from plants to humans and then back to plants. Joy to the world, says I. Man-made horrors beyond our comprehension, as far as the eye can see when the sun's blacked out. And remember, when this goes horribly wrong as well, it wasn't real either. For those of you who are just listening or just not reading. Quote, pollen levels are skyrocketing. Part of the reason? A lack of female trees. For years, cities were advised to plant only male trees. But male trees produce pollen. End quote. It doesn't, doesn't, doesn't sound quite as palatable without all the enya. Okay. There was one director, the director. There was, there was one Okay, document published by, I think it was the Parks and Recreations, U.S. Forestry Service, probably. One, advising, not directing, but advising people to plant trees, male trees on, I think, boulevards to avoid the leavings of female trees because female trees will produce all of the stuff that gets everywhere, right? And apparently, something that I learned Female trees will produce more of that stuff if they don't have male trees to pollinate them. So there may also be a some logic behind having more male trees so that you make sure that they, the female trees that do exist get pollinated and they stop bugging you with all of their crap and all the, the trash that they leave behind that you have to pick up. Okay. All right. So, but this was just one thing something published by the u.s probably forestry or or u.s parks and recreation or whatever published that advised right in 1942 or 49 so met like 70 years ago 80 years ago right and they are putting they're getting a lot of mileage out of that and it's also not even true that this is an allegation that isn't necessarily true but, you know, gotta blame maleness. Can we do mushrooms next? Or we're going to see what they do with mushrooms. Because they're, they're completely asexual, right? They, they reproduce asexually. But they do look an awful lot like willies now, don't they? <laughs> what do you do with that? Where do you stand on that, eh? See, so you don't need men for a patriarchy to exist. Just anything that reminds us of men. Oh God! I think I just predicted the future again. That's 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 going to be an article, probably in the Guardian, by I don't know some toff with a plum in his bum. Mark the timestamp, folks, and, and file it with all the rest. Rule thirty-four, sub clause seven. If it exists, there is feminist victim porn of it. I hope that the grift is starting to get ridiculous at this point. Like all you have to do is uh. I, I don't know. I'll use an example. I could open up a bank account, blame men for the existence of bank accounts, and there doesn't even have to be a step three because idiots will throw money at me because I blame men for something. Yeah, that's how it works. Okay, you just blame maleness and people will just throw money at you and nobody gets tired of it. Nobody. In this society that puts men's benefit over women's, this sales pitch never stops working. The sales pitch that we've somehow benefited men or male trees over society and women 
and female trees. That sales pitch never gets old. The instant you say, the instant you say, oh, I think we've benefited men and women weren't benefited or, or men are a hassle or we got to uh, The instant you do something like that, everybody's throwing money at you because everybody's motivated to benefit men over women. Can we just stop lying to ourselves about this? Okay, we're, we're at the stage where people are throwing money at people because they've said that female trees are being oppressed. Is there a point at which we just look at this and just say, yeah, it's enough. We, we've, 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 no, there isn't. We're just going to collapse society. And then we're going to look at the, <laughs> we're going to look at the ashes and say, how did men do this? Why, why did men do this? Men are to blame. Also, women most affected. While female trees don't, parentheses, produce pollen, they absorb it, end quote. It's, it's, it's quite a common pattern in nature, isn't it? Males producing things and females absorbing those things. It's sort of a hardwired one-way street, isn't it? And if, and if the plants could simply acknowledge and accept that this is the case, they wouldn't keep tripping themselves up with, with all these loony conspiracy theories about the pollenarchy and, and state say men's rights. <laughs> Alright, if that's not the title, then, then I don't know what I'm doing. More female trees means better outside for all, except for the men who have to pick up their leavings. <sighs> Affirmative action for the female trees. No, 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 no. We can't help men who are dealing with domestic violence and rape. No, no, no. We can't deal with the issue of uh, second-class citizenship because men are, are subject to conscription and selective service, not women. No, we can't deal with that. We got to save the female trees first. You guys are dumb. Or evil. Or evil. Or both. It's very, it's very, very possible to be both. It's very easy to be both. Being dumb helps you be more evil, and being evil helps you be more dumb. And yet, at the same time, you can be hysterical when the ratio is just right. You deserve the end of civilization. Yet, you, you, you're gonna hump this bullshit to your own destruction, and you deserve it. You know, they, they talk about this super stimulus, like the rabbits that created this like fake rabbit that was super attractive. So all the male rabbits had sex with the fake, fake rabbit instead of the rest of the rabbits. You know, this is a similar thing. This is like a super stimulus that ends up destroying a species because it co-ops an instinct that's necessary for survival and forces them to keep expressing it in a completely futile way. That's what we're doing. You know, maybe giving women Protection and provision was necessary to make sure children survived into, you know, being young, like teens, okay? Maybe that was necessary. But now we're humping it to our own destruction. We're partnering with the Arbor Day Foundation to get more female trees planted across the nation. Well, that's not really going to help now, is it? First of all, they're not going to be absorbing so much... Po Think about it. The female trees aren't going to be absorbing that much pollen. Okay, so what you really need to do is kill the male trees. But I guess that's a really good sell. That's not a really good sell. Let's go chop down trees for the environment. <laughs> so you do this. That'll be that'll be step two. Oh, it's not working. We got to blame the male trees harder and start killing them. Fun fact. Uh, you know how cannabis plants are. Uh, husbanded, or whatever the word is, bred for high THC content. Well, it's only the females who produce the high THC components, and they over overproduce them in the absence of any proximity to the males. So farming it basically involves imprisoning female plants in a sort of hydroponic harem and, and torturing them with extreme sexual frustration. I'm telling you, when feminists at large get around to realizing that this is how cannabis farming works, the second great prohibition will come around. 
first time around it was cannabis bad because women are getting raped by stoned Mexicans everywhere. I mean, they're not allowed to be racist anymore, so they'll just cut out the whole middle, man, and just go cannabis bad because misogyny. End of. Simple as. I'm kind of shocked they haven't thought of it yet, but you know, Rule 35, Amendment 3, if it doesn't exist, it's men's fault. Mark the timestamp, file it with the rest. If you can find a way to blame men, you can really make bank. If you can find a way to blame men to save women, allegedly, you can really make bank. It's just got out of it. Ugh. This seems really innocuous, doesn't it? It seems really innocuous. But it isn't. They are blaming patriarchy for the fact that city planners said, well, we don't want boulevards choked with all kinds of crap, so let's just plant male trees. They don't do that. Okay, now that's patriarchal oppression. We have, we have gone through all of the victimhoods. We've gone through minorities. We've gone through the LGBTQ. We've th gone through trans, which has to be one of the m smallest minorities of, to appropriate victimhood to win for women. And now we're at trees. Yeah, we've done humans, we've done animals, we've done trees, uh, we've done mushrooms. You can have that for free. Uh, uh, what, what, where, where do we go from here? We're rocks. How, how, are, how are rocks misogyny? Uh, he, ah, here you go. Uh, rocks give men an unfair advantage because men can lift and carry and throw bigger rocks than women can. Except in the context of competitive sport, that's not that, that. In which case, it's just a myth and a misogynistic stereotype. So we, rocks, misogyny. Uh, 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 water. Okay. Uh, mm, uh, right. Uh, women, right, have a slightly higher BMI on average than men, which makes them slightly more buoyant. Which means they can't. Which means they don't. They less likely to drown. That doesn't work. Uh, Men don't have to deal with, with water when it breaks. It only breaks when it's in a pregnant woman. <laughs> and, and, by, and by woman, I, 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 I mean birthing person. But hating, hating birthing people is just another form of misogyny. Okay, good. So water hates women too. Uh, 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 hydrogen? How, how, how does hydrogen hate women? Uh, why, why? It has no neutron. It's got to, got to be transphobic or something, right? You can't just have a proton and an electron just swanning around together like non-binary isn't a thing. <laughs> it's just hor horribly and un uh, unforgivably sexist, which, as we know, is just another form of misogyny. Right. Uh, space. How, 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 is, how is space itself misogyny? Well, that one's kind of obvious, actually. Not enough female astronauts. Get to work, people. Uh, supermassive black holes? How on earth could a supermassive black hole be sexist and racist? All right, good night, folks.